Excellent. I'll just give a real quick introduction. Thank you for that, Brian. Um, Patuan Demonstration School is a large government high school right in the center of Bangkok, Thailand. And it's actually really early in the morning for us here. We're about 7.30 in the morning. And many of our students will actually go on to study university overseas and especially in the United States. So this is a really great opportunity for them to connect with scientists and other people that are interested in science from around the world. Basically, it's a large high school of, of a couple thousand students with a few hundred students in an English program that learn most of their subjects in English. We're actually on our mid-year break right now. We just finished our first semester. And the students were so interested in this webinar, they wanted to come in during their vacation to talk to you today. So I'll just pass it over to the students and let them get started. Hello, everybody around the world. Today, we would like to talk about the effects of El Nino in Asia. My name is Time. My name is Dino, or you can call me El Dino. My name is Tam. My name is Paul. My name is Nina, you can call me La Nina. My name is Ping. The latest El Nino has lasted for three years. During those years, a lot has happened. So we categorize them into four groups for easier understanding. The groups are environmental effects, effects on human activities, effects in Thailand, and the effects in Southeast Asia. Finally, we are going to talk about the effects of La Nina that seems to be coming. Next, Dino, you started off with environmental effects. Next, I'm going to talk about the effects of El Nino in Asia. The red areas are the countries that experience extremely high temperature, and the yellow area are the areas that experience both extremely high temperature and also severe drought too. The effect of El Nino is coral bleaching. El Nino causes coral bleaching in the west coast of India Ocean. On the other hand, La Nina causes coral bleaching in the Gulf of Thailand. The causes of coral bleaching include low tides, water pollution, and also high ocean temperature. The effects of El Nino and the effects of coral bleaching include 18% of coral reef worldwide to be killed, marine animal, which one fourth of them depends on the coral reef to be killed, ruined ecosystem, less biodiversity, and also less tourist attraction. For example, the Raja Ampat Island. The Thai government are currently closing lots of diving area down. And lastly, there will be less medical source. For example, heart and cancer medicine. There are two main effects of El Nino, which is drought and flood. The first effect of drought is that it causes water restriction, which leads to many health problems. Forest fire, economic losses, and crop loss too. The effects of flood include health problems, for example, death and waterborne disease. It also causes damage to livestock, property, and crops. Next time we talk about the effects of El Nino in Thailand. So last year and this year were the most severe effects ever caused by El Nino, and the second most severe ones were from year 1997 and year 1998. It also means less rainfall during the monsoon month, which in Thailand is about June to October. And also, more than 10% of Thailand, about 46 districts and 12 provinces, had been declared drought that it has been defected, affected by El Nino. And also, the main crop grown in Thailand, which is rice, was severely affected too. And as you can see from the picture on the left, that's a rice farming. Usually when you farm rice, you need about a knee water level. And that's what you usually what the rice needs. And 
with it being like this dry, it's going to kill all the rice. And on the right hand side, it's a picture of a dam. Usually our dams are like really full up, but El Nino make it really dry. And not only rice are affected, but rubber, palm, and corn were affected as well. And last year, rice exports of Thailand decreased by almost half a million dollars. And cattle and other farm animals died due to the lack of food and water. And this also resulted in some case of suicide and thievery in farmers because farmers couldn't repay their loan. So some of them steal or some of them kill themselves because they cannot see their, they cannot, they show suicide to end their problem. And next up, I will talk about some of more specific details on the suicidal and farmer cases. And now, I am going to talk about specific information why farmers have committed suicide in Thailand. In the past few years, dozens of farmers have committed suicide. But the number that caused by drought with it is unclear because there are many factors that contributed to suicide. One of the main factors that caused suicide is drought by El Nio. Also the problem that caused by lack of payments for government life subsidy as well as the problem with illegal land sharks. Lack of payments of crop make poor farmers turn to loan shark for money. Moreover, 150,000 of them had borrowed money from loan shark for a combined deal of about 700,000 US dollar. When the farmers don't pay the loan shark, and the loan shark can put a lot of pressure on them, and could even take their land. In fact, there was at least one case that a farmer set her cell on fire in front of the government office to protest the land sharks. But now, the government tried to fix all of this problem already. And these are the reasons why farmers have committed suicide. And next, Nina will talk about the pawn shop. The next slide is about pawn shops in Thailand. During the El Nino period, farmers couldn't grow their crops, but they still have to pay to send their children to go to school along with other costs of living. One of the only ways poor farmers can get money is selling their belongings at pawn shops. That's the reason why the pawn industry was booming particularly at that time period. Besides the pawn shop boom, the Songkran Festival, which is Thai way of celebrating New Year, is also a concern due to the tremendous water use during the celebration. Even though that is El Nino, Thai people still want to continue this important festival. So the government tried to reduce the amount of water loss. For example, they reduced the Songkran Festival from four to three days and added a time restriction to only before 9 p.m. each day. And then Ping will talk about the effects of El Nino in individual countries. Now I'll be talking about the effects of El Nino in other countries, starting with Vietnam. In Vietnam, millions of people are suffering from water shortages, and many of the provinces are affected. Also, thousands of square kilometers of crops are damaged. Moving on to the Philippines, millions of people are directly affected by El Nino, and nearly half of the population are indirectly affected. Similar to Vietnam, thousands of square kilometers of crops are damaged. People are also suffering from food shortages, that is so severe that people are getting murdered for it. 
Over $100 million was spent on the community affected. In Indonesia, millions of people are living in poverty. This is because of harvest failures, lack of income, and increases in food prices. However, the NGOs are helping the community by giving them resources. Next time, we'll talk about La Nina and give us a conclusion. In 2011, La Nina has caused one of the worst disasters of Thailand. The vast majority of the countries were affected by the flood, which lasted over six months. Approximately 14 million people were affected, resulting in a loss of 1,500 billion baht, or about 42 billion US dollars. In 2016, what looked like La Nina had caused quite a lot of flooding and heavy rains already. As of now, about 19 provinces are affected. There is also a flood warning in some area as we speak right now, mainly caused by overflow of rivers. If things keep going on at this rate, Thailand might be in the same condition with 2011 La Nina or even worse. In conclusion, El Nino had affected Asia very badly, both directly and indirectly. Coral bleaching and drought occur, causing a significant loss which affects a large percentage of the world's population. Traditional festivals were also affected. Now, La Nina might be affecting us through flooding and heavy rains. Thank you.